Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Hallelujah. It is a blessing to be with the people of God one more time. Amen. Um, truly, God is great, and he is greatly to be praised. Do I have anybody who is thankful for anything that the Lord has has done for you on this day? I'm kind of like that song that we sing sometimes that if he hadn't, um, if he hasn't done anything else for me, hallelujah, he has done enough. So we praise God today. We'll make sure that, that we're on. Um, should start seeing some activity here. So I see that we have now um, went live. And so praise the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. So we bless the Lord. Amen. God bless you. I'm Elder Gwen Payton. As, as you guys are coming on, if you can, if, if you can share this um, um, with um, um, Facebook or whatever platform you are on, it would be appreciated. Good evening. Psalmist Sharon Coleman. God, God bless you. Amen. All right. So we, we, we are on. Elder Modestine, Sister um, Brenda, and, and, and others are, are coming on. I am so excited on today. Hallelujah. Just praising the Lord for, for what he has already done on this day. Amen. And, and um, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to, um, um, Go to the scripture that I'm going to because it's a is a scripture that we say all the time. But I can't say this is the day the Lord has made. Yes, I'll say that. And I what? I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Amen. Elder Diane Russell, God bless you, my sister. I, I, I see that you're listening in and we're praying for you and we're praying for a quick and speedy re recovery. Um, we, we stand with John, um, with, with First John, where the word says that um, God desires, he wishes above all things that, um, that we be in good health. Amen. And so we're speaking good health over you and over in, anyone else who is afflicted um, in their body right now because we know and we praise God that, that he was wounded for our transgressions. Yes, he was. He was bruised. Thank you, Jesus, for our iniquities, that the chastisement of our peace uh, was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Amen. And so we, we just speak healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There is, there is healing. There's virtue. Hallelujah. In the blood of Jesus. So we thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. And so I see you guys are coming on here. I see some of the um, Laker fans have um, have um, awakened from their sleep. One of them, I'm not going to say any names. Um, um, I called him after um, after one of the losses and and asked him how he's doing, and he says I'm I'm, I'm just sleeping. Um, but but praise the Lord that um, brother Rodney Finley is awake today. Amen. So we want to pray for him and. And all those others who were um, bothering me after the, the Suns lost games two and three. Um, but I, I, I reached out to them after game five or four, whatever. Yeah, game five yeah, yesterday, you know, the 30-something the, the um, defeat where um, LeBron James actually walked off of the basketball court with about four or five minutes left um, um, under the... Um, auspices or um, something um, that um, his, his ankle was getting worked on. Well, we know that the devil is alive. Ankle wasn't getting worked on. It was just shame. And it's fine. It's fine. When you get a, when you get a good beat down, amen, and that's what it was. It was a genuine beat down. That's what happens. 
Amen. So, so um, my scripture today is um, a wonderful scripture. So I better get to the scripture. Um, 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 so I make some of you mad. Amen. And I, I don't want to make anybody mad. So I'm going to go right to the scripture here this morning. Um, just want to remind um, married couples that we sent out an email on today um, that we are um, getting our um, marriage ministry groups together. And so if you can please respond to the email and uh, pick out what group um, you desire to be with so that we can um, move forward with some of the exciting things we want to do with the um, marriage uh, ministry. Next Tuesday, um, June the um, next Tuesday, I, I, I don't know what day it is, um, June the 8th, I believe it is, next Tuesday at 7 p.m., we're going to have another prayer conference. And we are so excited um, that Bishop um, Sherman Gordon, um, the Western Deanery Bishop for Global United Fellowship, he will be our guest. Amen. So put the word out next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Bishop Sherman Gordon from Long Beach, California will be in the house with us. And so we are excited about that. Um, I hope some of you have had an opportunity to see um, my um, welcome back video that i um, um, that was posted today on various social media platforms. You can see my excitement. I am glad that on this Sunday at 10 a.m. we will be back in the house. Amen. I'm talking about physically in the house because the wonderful thing that has happened over the last um, 14 or so months is that we have learned that we can still praise and worship God even though we may not be in a certain building. Amen. And, and, and so we've learned, we've grown. Um, next Sunday at 10 a.m., I want to see you in the house. Amen. We will follow social distancing um, protocols, um, but I want to see the people of God in the house. And so that takes me to the text, um, the, the, the text um, for today. Amen. The text for, um, for today is coming from Psalm 122. It's a psalm that we um, quote all the time, especially um, when we are giving a call to worship, um, when we are, you know, just um, inviting somebody to worship. Um, psalm 122 is one of the verses that we quote all the time. And so I just, um, because we're coming back to um, in-house worship, so to speak, on next Sunday um, for the first time in you know, 14 or so months, I, I kind of wanted to put some emphasis and just to prepare us what we should expect when we come back into um, our various houses of worship, where you are, whether you are at Fountain or another place, amen, we want to come back um, stronger. We want to come back wiser. As Marvin um, Sapp says in his song, we want to come back better. Amen. I want you to say that with me. Wiser stronger and better. Amen. And so this text this morning, um, it is, or this evening is going to help us um, as we um, come back on this Sunday. So Father, we bless you. We, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the excitement. Uh, we, we thank you for where you have brought us from. Father, we even thank you for where we are right now. And we thank you for where you will take us because we are in your hands. And you said that you wish above all things that we prosper. And Father, we thank you for the prosperity that is on our lives. And we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So let's go to Psalm 122. Psalm 122. And, and, and the heading in my Bible says, The joy of going to the house of the Lord. Amen. Um, the joy of going to to the house of the Lord. Even before I get um, started with this um, um, exegesis of this text today, how many of you really um, can say unequivocally, um, without a shadow of doubt, that there is joy when you go to the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. I know pre-pandemic, some of us um, may not have been coming to the house of the Lord, and I know we're all not going to come back um, at the same time, because, you know, there there are still some things that are going on with this pandemic and 
and we we still want to be wise um, um, um but 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 those that are coming back um we want to be like um, um david when when david talks about the joy of going to the house of the lord and he says in verse number one in psalm 122 i was glad when they said to me let us go into the house of the lord hallelujah and so i just want to talk about for um um, um some some minutes here this morning come to church rejoicing Amen. Tell your neighbor, slap your neighbor, however, high five your neighbor, whatever you want to do. Um, but just um, tell your neighbor, and, and 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 even if it's just you, come to church rejoicing. Amen. That if we're going to come to church, we're going to come to church rejoicing. We're, we're going to come to church um, excited. Amen. We're, we're going to come to church full of energy. This psalm here is... Um, 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 one of the ascent psalms. Um, psalms. It, it, it's one of the psalms that um, that the Jews would um, um, sing when they were going um, um, back to Jerusalem for many of the feasts um, that they would um, go to Jerusalem for. And so they were sung by the worshipers as they ascended or as they went up toward Jerusalem and um, these psalms were designed to give God glory to prepare their hearts up um, um, for the worship that they would experience as they were going into the tabernacle and so what that tells us is that many times we shouldn't wait until we get into the sanctuary to begin to give God glory no when we wake up that morning when we're getting dressed when we're in our cars we should have um, songs in our heart and melodies and, and scripture and just preparing ourselves so that when we get to the campus, when we get to the gates of the sanctuary, we can be like Psalm 100, where Psalm 100 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with what? Gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Come on, saints. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. Verse three says, we are his people and the sheep of his um, um, pasture. Here we go. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So even before we get to the gates, hallelujah, even before we get to the um, outer courts, um, there should be um, thanksgiving. There should be praise going on so that by the time you walk into the house of God, by the time you walk into the sanctuary, we are on fire and we are ready. We are coming inside rejoicing. If we can just get that mindset. And so when these Jews were coming to Jerusalem um, 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 during this time, they were coming um, excited, e excited. And so, and so what did David say? David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. When we look at that word glad, that word glad, it means to cause to rejoice. Amen. It, it means glad means to cause a cause to rejoice. Um, um, and, and, and so if you just think about what God has done for you, where God has brought you from, where God is taking you um, to, it is cause for you to rejoice. And so we should not come to the house of God. I'm sad. We should not come to the house of God mad, but we come to the house of God. Um, I'm glad and rejoicing because God has been good to us. Hallelujah. I know he's been good to you. You don't have to recognize it, but I'm telling you that God has been good to you. Now, now, now with David saying, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I, I, I unfortunately, um, everybody does not um, share um, that feeling. E everybody doesn't have those type of emotions because if they did, the houses of worship would be full and packed every single time the doors are open. And I know some of you gonna take issue with me on that. 
I don't care. I'm just telling you that if we were glad, see, because what um, what has happened um, it, it is that with this pandemic, um, um, we have not been able to go into the houses of worship as we did pre-pandemic. But come on, people, if we want to be honest, um, um, pre-pandemic, uh, the, the church were um, the, the church was facing many, many challenges, many challenges with people coming to church systematically and continuously on a daily basis. Can I get an amen? Amen. And so now because of the of, of the pandemic, the church is now um, facing many challenges, many, many challenges um, uh, because pre-pandemic, we know that attendance um, um, was declining. But now with um, virtual church and, and, and streaming, um, some of the saints and I'm not talking necessarily to any of y'all, but if I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. But 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 some of the saints have gotten so comfortable um, that 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 I am going to have to pray some of y'all. I'm going to have to pray some of y'all out of your pajamas. I'm going to have to pray some of y'all from from um, from out of your kitchen and, and 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 sipping your coffee and and lying on your couches and in your bed while um, worship service is going on at the house of God. Amen. Because because there's a time I'm, and, and I'm not discounting anything that takes place as far as your worship at your house. There is a place for that. So I don't want anybody to take this out of context. There is a place for that. But 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 I'm just I'm I'm, I'm sticking with the B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B I B L E. And the B I B L E tells us in many cases that we are not to um, neglect in, a, in assembling ourselves together. Amen. So there's a time to praise God at home, on your couch, on your bed, sipping your coffee, in your slippers, doing whatever you want to do. But then, people of God, there is a time for the people of God to assemble together corporately in one place um, at one time to give God glory. And who knows what's going to happen at any given time? You know, um, here recently we had um, um, Pentecost. Um, um, a couple weeks ago was Pentecost Sunday. And the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 2 that what? That they were what? They were in one place and they were with one accord. And when they were in one place and with one accord, the Bible says that the Holy Ghost came in like a um, 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 rushing wind and a move of God that had never been experienced before was experienced at that time. So can you imagine if we can assemble in one place? At one time, who knows? Who knows? With one accord. Yeah, we, we, we have to be with one accord. Who knows what the Lord will do? Amen. And so I'm just saying for the last 14 months or so, um, 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 we've kind of had our little hiatus. Uh, we've had our vacation. I, 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 I can't tell you um, what you've been doing but what I can tell you is that almost every um, Sunday and Wednesday, um, I was um, in church. Yes, yes, I was. I was in the um, sanctuary over at 8838 South 2nd Avenue on Sunday mornings. And um, I was at uh, my house here on, on Sheena Drive. Amen. Um, I'm giving and teaching the word of God. Because that's what he has called me to do. And as long as um, I have breath and I have the ability to go into the house of the Lord, I'm going to do it. Because I was glad when they said unto us. Amen. That the us is inclusive of all of us. That, that we go into the house of the Lord. So. So let me just hit three points here. We're, we're, we're going to look at the purpose for going there. So we're going to look at the purpose. Amen. We're going to look at the people who are there. 
And then we are going to look at the person who is to be glorified there. Amen. All right. So, so when we go to the house of the Lord, got, you, we, we, we have to understand this. According to the text, there's a purpose. According to the text, there is a people. And according to the text, there is a person who is to be glorified. Amen. So what is the purpose for going there? Well, the purpose for going there is found in verse number four. Verse number four says where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord to the testimony of Israel. And here we go. To give thanks to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so we we come to the temple. We come to the um, um, sanctuary to, to offer praise and to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. See, because you have to understand during that time, and um, um, it's one of the um, um, ascent psalms, the, the psalms where they would go up to Jerusalem from Psalm 120 to Psalm 134. Those are all ascent psalms. You know, um, Psalm 121. Um, I will look to the hills um, from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. Um, Psalm 120. Um, for um, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? And so they would sing these psalms, um, these songs as they were um, going up to J Jerusalem. And you have to understand, people of God, that it it it, it took a lot of effort um, for them um, to to um, do this um, because sometimes they would travel hundreds of miles. They would. They would um, be on donkeys. They would walk. But all of this was so that they could get to the place to where they could come together corporately and give God praise for all of the things that he had done for them, for what he had done for their um, um, ancestors and for what he was going to continue to do. And for us, when it's time for us to go to the house of the Lord, can I be honest? Do y'all want me to be honest? Uh, it really doesn't take much effort for us to go. We don't have to walk, you know, um, tens and um, 20 miles. We don't have to get on um, donkeys. There's no um, dust and, and dirt on our feet. There's no danger as we are hitting the highways. Um, 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 typically, all we have to do is just get into some type of vehicle, whether you drive or whether somebody else drives and then we get right on and it takes us, you know, 10, 15, 30, uh, an hour, depending on where you live, to go and to give God some praise. And that's what they, that's what their purpose were. Their purpose was to thank God, hallelujah, for what he had done for them. They knew that they had reasons to praise the Lord. And guess what? And that's exactly what they did. How much more do we have to praise him for? I want you just to stop and consider. I want you just to think about all that he has done for you, that he has saved you. He's He's re redeemed you. Um, the provision, the protection, the grace, the, the mercy, the long suffering, the new mercies every single day. Hallelujah. Um, food on um, um, food in your um, um, refrigerators, clothes on your back, vehicles, bicycles, um, 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 Tico. If, if y'all don't know what Tico is, that's public transportation. However, it is that we get around. We have so much to be thankful for. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we just um, 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 got to understand that there is a purpose. There's a purpose um, to come to church rejoicing. I want you to say that with me. There's a purpose to come to church rejoicing. And in verse number four, it tells us that we are to come to give him thanks. But not only is there a purpose of coming together, but there are people who gather there. Amen. There's a purpose, and then there are people who gather there. And so we can see in, in the text that while David um, found gladness in the purpose of going to the house of God to um, um, give um, 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 thanks to him, David was also glad 
to come to church because he knew he would meet the people of God there. Can I be transparent and, and, and really speak from my heart? I truly love the saints. I do. I, I, I truly love the people of God and enjoy being around the people of God. My, my life um, over the last um, um, 59 years has been so enriched because of you all. You, you just don't know the, the um, joy um, that I get in just fellowshipping with the people of God. Um, um, and, and so in the text, what does David say? In verse number one, he says, I was glad when they said unto us. Listen, it's just not supposed to be one that's going to the house of the Lord. He said, I was glad when they said unto who? Us. Amen. And we understand that us is plural. That means that it is more than one. Amen. Us is us. And so we are to come together corporately. And when we come together corporately, we're to come together on common ground. Amen. That's why. Listen. And uh, that's why when we come together rejoicing, we don't have time for foolishness. When we come together rejoicing, we don't have time for shenanigans. When we come together rejoicing, we don't have time for drama. Come on, people of God. Um, those days and um, 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 that stuff, it is over. We, we are in a new season. We are in a season right now to where all we want to do is come together um, um, to, to, to encourage one another, to, to edify one, one another, to, to see each other strengthen, and to give God the praise and the glory that is due his name. Amen. And so even though we, we come from different families, we, we have different points of view, uh, different backgrounds, and some of us even come from um, different belief systems. But when we come together, we are commanded to come together with one accord and to thank God and give him praise and give him the glory that is due his name. Hallelujah. And so Fountain of Life, House of Worship, we, we have branded, we, we carry a brand that Fountain of Life is a place, what? Where everyone is loved. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and that's how I want this ministry to be viewed. Um, and I've heard people um, um, tell me um, that, that have come from other places, from, from other states or, or, or from other churches, what, what have you. That, um, that the environment, the atmosphere at Fountain of Life is, a, is an atmosphere of love. And that's what we want to do, and that's how we want to keep it. And I know every now and then things happen, and so we just need to correct those things. Um, but we want um, Fountain of Life to be a place of love, a place where everyone is loved. And so when we have that, then, um, then we're able to forgive. Amen. That if, if, that if somebody cross you, um, somebody upset you, somebody offend you, that we don't walk around carrying grudges. We don't walk around holding alts, but we forgive. Just as the Bible says that if we want um, the Lord to forgive us, then we must be willing to forgive our brothers and sisters that, that we will be patient with one another. That when one of us mess up, um, as Galatians 6 says, that, um, that we will restore one another uh, with a spirit of meekness, lest we also be tempted. And so, and, and, and so there, there are people there. And so um, at, 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 as long as we come together and understand that we come with a purpose to, to fellowship, that we are united together as a family. My God, you talk about rejoicing. That will take place. Amen. Because family of God, we are one 
in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we come together, um, every time we come together, it should just be like a, 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 a family reunion. Because in verse number four, he, he talks about, he talks about um, that um, the, the tribes go up, the, the tribes of the Lord to the testimony of Israel. Amen. And so when we come together, all of us who have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus, we come together um, on common ground. We come together unified, hallelujah, with a purpose to thank God for all the great and mighty things that have taken place, that will take place in our lives. Hallelujah. And so any church that does not fellowship together, any church and um, that does not come together lacks unity. And so when, when I'm talking about the church, I'm talking about you and me. We are the church. The, the church is not a building. I know that sometimes we say come to church. A amen. But, but understand that we are coming together. The, the church, the people are coming together to assemble together to give God praise. And so when we look at the first church, that's in the book of Acts chapter 2. We understand that the first church, that they had all things in common, that they fellowship, that they met and, and, and they ate together. Um, and they made sure that all of the needs of everyone connected with that fellowship um, was taken care of. Amen. All needs were met. Bless the name of Jesus. And so that's the picture of the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. A amen. They they liked each other and enjoyed each other's company. Amen. So so can you truly say that you like the saints, that you enjoy being around the people of God? Hallelujah. And that's where we, we have to be. Some some have, um, you know, the, the problem with um, um, some of the saints is that um, some of us have become too critical we become too judgmental and we forget that if it were not for the grace of God, there go I. Amen. Amen. And I know some of us mess up and, and I know some of us get on our last nerve. I understand that. Trust me. Trust me. I do. I have to deal with a whole lot more people than most of y'all do. Okay. So I understand that. But, but, but what I also understand is that the same grace, the, the same mercy, the, the same um, um, long suffering and the patience and the kindness and the goodness that God has shown to me, even with my mess ups, even when I miss the mark and, and, and I trespass, that the same things that I expect God to, to show to me is the same type of grace and mercy that I must show to my brothers and sisters. And so that's why I can genuinely say that I love the people of God. I love being around the people of God. I draw strength from the people of God. And so when we look at the text, as I close here, uh, there was a purpose for um, coming, re rejoicing. There were people there that were coming together rejoicing. And then finally, um, we, we see in the text in verse number four that there was a person that they glorified there. And it's all about giving God the, the praise, giving God all the glory that is due his name. Hallelujah. They came there to give him thanks. They came there to give him praise. They, they, they came there because who was there uh, um, is the, um, 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 the person who told Moses in Exodus uh, um, um, chapter 3. He says that when they ask you who I am, just tell them that I am that I am. Hallelujah. And he is the great I am. Everything that you need, I am says that I am. If you need um, peace, I am says that I'm Jehovah Shalom. If you need um, 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 de deliverance, if, 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 if you need victory in a battle, I am says that I am 
um, Jehovah Nisi. If you need um, to know that he will never leave you, he will never forsake you. I am says that I am Jehovah Shama. Hallelujah. Whatever you need, if you need a shepherd, if you need direction, I am says that I am Jehovah Rohu. Rohi, if you need to understand and know that you are of the righteousness of God and you are connected with righteousness, um, I am says that I am Jehovah Tiskanu. Whatever you need, if you need healing in your body, I am says that I am Jehovah Rapha. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Bless the name of Jesus. And so whatever you need, I am says that I am he, hallelujah, amen. And so I bless the Lord that, that, that I don't have to worry for anything. I have need for nothing because my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory, hallelujah. And so he is the reason why we come to church rejoicing. And so the next time you um, 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 read this verse from Psalm 122, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Understand that these are just not words, but these are words that are to be put to life. Hallelujah. Amen. And so as I close this out um, this evening, people of God, we are coming um, to the sanctuary on this Sunday, June the 6th. 2021 and i want us to come in there on fire you you hear me a amen i want us to come in there and i just don't want it to be on june the 6th but i want it to be on june 13th june 20th um uh, june 27th and and then going into july and august september october november december january february 2022 23 24 and on and on and on we cannot go back to where we left off pre-pandemic Hallelujah. Amen. So I want the saints to, to meet me there and we going to come there and we going to give the Lord, hallelujah, all the glory that is due his name. We are going to praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Amen. The praise team shouldn't have to pump you up. Amen. Because you're going to be like these Jews as they were coming to Jerusalem with these um, Psalms of ascent. As as as, as um, they were coming up the hill, coming up to Mount Zion, they had already had thanksgiving in their heart. They had already had a praise on their lips so that when we get to the gates, when we get to um, the courts, that we walk in there praising God. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we do that with one accord, who knows what's going to happen? I'm, I'm telling y'all that when we change the atmosphere of worship, when we change the atmosphere of praise, hallelujah, um, um, God will show up because the Bible says that God inhabits, God dwells, come on people of God, where praise is going on. Hallelujah. That's all I have um, um, for this evening. Um, but um, on Sunday, um, I know it's going to look different. I know it's going to be different. I know we're going to be wiser. Uh, we, we're going to be stronger. We're going to be better as we come to church rejoicing. Hallelujah. So, Father, we bless you. We, we thank you for this word. We thank you for this time of coming together together. Um, on this evening and father we just um, um, stand and with great anticipation for what will take place on this Sunday on this Lord's Day as we come glad going into the house of the Lord so bless the people of God in Jesus name amen all right people of God uh, love you um, I um, pray that you were um, blessed by this word and um, that you will take this word and put it into action. Hallelujah. Have a blessed evening. Blessed, blessed, blessed. You, you blessed coming. You blessed going. You blessed in the city. You blessed. You blessed. You blessed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Go in peace. Shalom.